Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 7. Uh, just a side note, uh, at the time of the recording of this video, the video I tried to upload yesterday, episode 6, which is item creation, also is uh, still processing. It's been processing for about 20 hours now. So I actually took down the video and I re-uploaded it and it's processing again, so hopefully it works. Uh, if not, I'll have to uh, take a look at it. Uh, hopefully when I try to upload this video, it works. But uh, anyways, I'm going to continue on and uh, today I'm going to finish up some item creation stuff and uh, and so it'll probably be a short quick video. I'll review what I did last time a little bit since that video is not up yet and then I'll continue with the uh, other scripts I want to do. The next couple videos afterwards I'm planning on actually getting into uh, combat and uh, either creating a turn based system. I haven't found too many uh, YouTube videos on how to create a turn based combat system. And so I thought I could do that, or I might just do like a, nor I guess normal RPG, um, like third person kind of game. Uh, so if you guys have opinion, you can write them in the comments, and I'll take it. I'll take a look at them. I can actually do both. I mean, both would be fine. Uh, eventually, I'll probably just start out with a turn base, but we'll get there tomorrow. That or that will be tomorrow's video. So today we're gonna look at uh, again items. And yesterday we created a base equipment, um, or created a new equipment script, or in the last video, excuse me, we created a new equipment script. And in this video, we're just going to create uh, two more items, and it's just going to be a potion and scroll. So I'm going to go up here to create, and I'm going to hit new C sharp, C sharp script, and I'm going to say create new, and it's going to be a potion. And I'm going to make one more script, and it's going to be create new scroll. I hit enter. I'm going to open these both up in Mono Develop, and this is so. Here are the two uh, scripts I just made, and I just want to show you. This is the. Oh, I'm going to open it up. This is the script I wrote in the last video, and basically I wrote two strings, or I have two strings up here that are used um, to choose a name, random name, and to to a to choose a random description. Uh, so it's a little more complicated than our other one, but not too complicated that you guys can't tackle or expand upon. Uh, the two scripts I'm going to do today are going to be really simple. Uh, actually, we're going to use those. We don't need update. Uh, but first, so the first one we're going to do to tackle is uh, new potion. So we're going to do private. I don't think it's a base potion. I don't. Oh, it is a base potion. Excuse me. So we're going to do private, and it's going to be base potion, and we're going to call it a new potion item. We'll just do new potion. Uh, and then we're going to come down here, and we're going to create a function. It's going to be a private void uh, create potion. And this is, <clears throat> this is set up, excuse me, this is set up much like our create weapon like we've been doing. This is how I like to do those scripts. So we're going to do the same thing we did here with the new weapon, but we're going to do it with potion. So we'll go uh, new potion is equal to new base potion. And then we have, we're going to give it a name. So we'll go new potion dot name, and we'll set it equal to potion. Now what you guys can do, and much uh, like we did like what we did with the uh, basic or with the equipment um, script is create a string up here, create a string up here. Uh, the basically string that has several names, uh, several names for your potions. So you, instead of just having one generic name of potion, you can have several different names for your potions. You can randomly choose which one. But today I'm just going to do random item name dot uh, new potion dot item name is equal to potion. We'll do new potion dot id oh i description excuse me uh, we'll set that equal to uh, this is a potion and then we have the item id which is new potion dot id we'll set that equal to random dot range of one through one hundred one like we've been doing next the next thing we need to do. Uh, potion. If we go into our base potion script, open it up as po as a potion type. So we just need to randomly choose one of it looks like uh, seven potion types we have. So we'll come to our create a new potion, 
and that's what we're going to come up next. So we're going to create a, a uh, function. It's going to be a private void. Um, choose potion type. And this, I'm just going to do a, ran a temporary random variable. So we'll do random temp. Excuse me, random temp. We'll set that to random dot range, and we'll set it to go through one through uh, zero through uh, eight. So it goes to zero to seven, which we want to go. Sorry, go zero to seven. So it would give us a number between zero and six, which is what we need to uh, look at base potions. Um, and we're going to create just a couple if else statements. So we'll go if random temp is equal to zero, then we know our uh, new potion dot type potion types is going to be potion types uh, we'll set it equal to a health potion okay I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna copy this type else paste and I'm gonna change it from a zero to a one and I think energy is one yep so then I'm gonna copy this elf is state uh, else if statement paste 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 because we have seven. So we'll do two, three, four, five, and six. So we have zero through six, which is seven. We gotta come in here and change it to endurance. Change this to uh, speed, oh, strength, speed, intellect, I think is one. And what's the other one? Ace potion, endurance, oh, vitality. Come in here and change it to vitality. And there we go. So right away, or this is basically the entire script for that. We're creating a uh, potion with a name, a description, and uh, an item ID, and then it has its um, what type of potion it is. So in our start function, I'm going to actually call this create, uh, create potion script. And then I'm going to go back to our create new weapon and we are going to copy and paste these debug statements so we can see what we made see if it works should work but you know I just want to check just to show you guys so new potion we have a potion type and there we go we can get rid of these because this, this does inherit from base stats but we're not going to put any stats on it for right now I'm going to save it I'm going to go back into uh, unity I'm going to drag and drop our create new potion script to main camera and I'm going to press play okay and it played and it, it, uh, and here we can see in our debug log that we created a potion it's called this is a potion its item ID is 22 and it's a health potion so we're going to press play again just to show you just to show you how it generates it create a new one it changes to 75 do it again Keeps doing health. Let's see if we can get a new random number in there. Let's see why. Press play again. Let's see, we might have an error. So it looks like we're having an error, and it looks like it's just doing health each time. So we're going to come in here, and this is what I like doing. I like doing debug log, and we're going to do a random temp. We can see what this variable is. What, and if it's changing, if it's hitting zero every time, that's fine, but we want to know why. Oh, you know what? Here's the issue. <laughs> I never call the function. So you call the function. Come down here and set that. I wasn't calling the uh, choose potion type function in our created potion. So here we go. Do it again. And now it's working. We got a potion. This is a potion. This is the description, the ID, and it's an intellect potion. Press play strength so it's working perfect so the last thing I want to do today is do the create a scroll script and like like before it's gonna be uh, basically the same script as uh, we've been doing so we're gonna do private it's gonna be a base scroll and it's gonna be a new scroll come down here we're gonna create another private void new or create scroll it's going to the function that's going to create it we're going to do new scroll dot name we'll set it to scroll new scroll dot description 
we're going to say uh, this is a powerful scroll. Okay. We'll do new scroll. We'll do dot ID. Oh. Item ID. We'll set that equal to, um, we'll do scroll ID. Just, just to change it up a bit. Plus random dot range. And we'll give it a number between 1 and 101. Perfect. And then um, we'll back to our base scroll. And I don't think we have much in here. We just have a spell effect ID. I think that's here. Now, we'll, I'll come back and look at it in a second. Oh, because this is a, um, I forgot I can't do that. Item ID is not a uh, string; it's a value. So there we go. Okay, so then we'll come. We gotta do the spell effect ID. Uh, that's on here. So we'll do uh, new scroll dot spell effect ID, and we'll set that's equal to also a number. So we'll do random dot range. We'll set that to let's do that to five hundred and thousand, just to change it up a bit. It's a very simple script. It's nothing crazy. That uh, I haven't. You know, we haven't figured out what these are for. We can, what I'm actually going to be using these for. So maybe we can work together uh, in the later videos to come up with some ideas for these items because I don't know what to do with them. So I'm going to grab new scroll, going to copy and paste over new potion, change this to spell effect ID. Here we go. I'm going to. Uh, grab this uh, create new scroll gonna drag it to the main camera and when I press play we should but we should see a potion first and then we should see a scroll first or then a scroll oh so we did not find we have an error item name oh so what I forgot to do which is surprising since we've made a few of these scripts now is go new scroll is equal to new base scroll Forgot my brackets, my parentheses, and my L. There we go. So now it's created a new instance of the object so that we can assign values to it. So I'm going to control S to save, go back to Unity. I'm going to clear these. I'm going to press play, and it's going to create our scroll. We have a scroll, it's a powerful scroll. The ID is 76, and its spell effect ID is 897, excuse me. And then we created a potion. I'll press play one more time. You can see it create another one. I didn't see it change, but I'm pretty sure it did from, this is 963. Yeah, it changed, 95, 973. So, we're creating items, which is perfect, because next, uh, ne in the next few episodes, I'm going to be creating the uh, turn-based system, and we're going to want items as a, re a reward, and items that you can use in the combat system. So, uh, please like, subscribe to the videos if you like watching them. Please leave comments if you have any suggestions. Uh, if you want to see, if you do, if you guys don't want to see a turn-based combat system and you want to see more of a real-time system, uh, leave that in the comments and I can, I can work on that instead. Or I can work on both. Whatever you guys want to see, I'm willing to work on and work through with you all. So, I hope you like the video. I hope this one processes and I hope the one before it processes as well. And uh, I'll see you next time.